it to the bank like Ha 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 How's it going everybody? Very welcome to Cheese Crisps. Today we're going to do a review on the guitar that Kev built. So uh, we'll get straight into it. This guitar I made about maybe eight years ago, ten years ago, something like that. Um, this is made by uh, going down to a place called the Lagan Luthery School, uh, which was at the time in Eglantine Avenue in Belfast. It's now down in Newton Ards. Uh, near Avalon Guitars, so we'll get straight into this. This guitar, as you can see, is a wee beauty. Okay, I'll talk you through the wood, uh, talk you through uh, the different parts and pieces, uh, and show you everything that there is, and then sure, you never know, I might play you a wee tune, or part of a wee tune. Uh, so this guitar is known as the Kevalon, which is based on me building it, and it being like an Avalon. Uh, well, it's actually a wee bit more based on a loudon. Um, so anyway, top is cedar here. So you can see there, I've even gone and polished it off for you. So it's a lovely, lovely dark. It has darkened down over the years as well, gone like a nice orangey colour. You have got a uh, rosewood bridge with rosewood, rosewood pins. Now, that's the only thing it didn't make, or the strings, or the wee nuts at the end, the wee metal parts of the room, but everything else so you've got rosewood cedar rosewood rosewood in here you have a mixture on the rosette if you can see that you have uh mahogany irish walnut uh and uh, maple in there for and they're all separate pieces of wood don't be thinking i stuck a wee sticker on there okay inside you might be able to see a wee bit of the the uh structure okay um that's all hand carved as well and there is a fishman pickup in it so then when we take off the strap you can see the irish walnut on the sides with more maple bindings like flame maple bindings so when you get that we sort of quilt look in it the wee lines in it uh up here yeah so and then again with the top bindings you've got the mahogany and walnut again then You've got an ebony fretboard uh, on the front with a cedrella. Uh, this is cedrella, okay? Some people are allergic to this. Um, and you'll know very quickly your hands and your head will swell up like a bet. Um, what else? Yeah, and then the, the maple again inside with mahogany, or sorry, rosewood there. We rosewood heel plate on there as well. Uh, going up into this is all hand carved and then so up into the neck which did break uh, whenever it was dropped at a gig one night and I near wept but the boys down in Avalon got a hold of it and did a job on it and really you wouldn't know um, and then you can see the I think this is called the volute or the volute um, and then you've got the the uh, the head pins, what are they? Go go to go to head pins or nuts machine heads they're called. Uh round the front then on there you've got another wee piece of rosewood. Okay, which is an endangered species now. Depending where you get it from. Uh I think African rosewood's endangered and you actually need like a passport to, to fly your guitar places. Down the bottom then at the end pin we have uh it's known as cat paw maple. Um, see the wee paw marks on it if you can so you have that now the other wee interesting part that I might or might not be able to show you is inside let me see uh, if you can see it just there inside the sound hole you'll see like a wee black cloth part okay you need to put on a, a what do you call it in there uh, a piece of cloth that is dipped in resin just to give it an act, act as a strengthener. 
we didn't have any of the cloth at the time that you needed. It needed to be like a, a cotton lint free cloth. Um, and the only thing that was there was my shirt. So what I did was uh, took a wee, cut off a wee piece of the shirt that I was wearing, soaked it in the resin and put it on. And everybody loved it. It was like, oh man, you're in the guitar. So that's pretty much it, I think. This is bone, okay? This is animal bone. And it stank like a bastard whenever it was uh, shaping it. Um, you can get plastic ones, uh, but the bone apparently gives it a, a better ring. Uh, so that's your saddle. Um, and then you've got your nut up at this end here. And again, that's bone, okay? But you're, you're talking there, you might not be able to see the profile of it properly, but it pulls away at the back. So it's only actually the front part of the string that is sitting on there. Um, and yeah, then you've got your frets, putting in all the frets by hand. Um, a lot of the work goes on scene and it's inside the guitar. I don't know if I'd be able to shoot how much of this you'll be able to see, really. But there's a lot going on in there where it was all hand carved with none other than Japanese uh, chisels and stuff, which are some of the best chisels that you can get in the world. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, then you get it varnished, lacquered up, sand it down between grits. There's a lot of sanding, obviously. You're using natural woods and stuff. Uh, but the guitar has definitely opened up over time. And I'm pretty happy with how it's sounding. I used to gig this guitar all the time. Uh, but I really haven't taken it out. Uh, I use the Avalon more. This, uh, there's a wee under saddle pickup in it. Um, oh, by the way, those two white pins, which are the same as the fret pins, which I, or the fret markers, which I left out on this guitar. Just wanted a, a different feel to it. Although the top markers are on it, you can see the wee dots for the 3rd, 5th, 7th, ninth fret and the 12th fret then. Um, but I wanted to clean the, or keep the head, the fretboard clean. The saddle lifted at one stage, um, that happens sometimes, just wasn't stuck down well enough. I was I spurred on the glue, uh, just with the heat and stuff in, in the car, it has lifted, it lifted. Um, but again, straight down to Avalon and Newton Arts and Ernie did the job on it. Um, now he phoned me to tell me that it was done. And he says, yeah, I just put in a couple of bolts with it. Now I swear I near boked, right? The, I was picturing Frankenstein's neck, Frankenstein's neck going on. It didn't happen. I went down and that was it. That's how I did it. So the bolts are actually in under the dots. You'll never see them. Okay, the guy is a genius. They're all geniuses down there. They know exactly what they're talking about. So, um, anytime I'm, I need the guitar refretted it or something else done on it, that's where I take it to. Uh, the guys know exactly what they're doing. So, I'm trying to think of a wee tune to give you. Um, sorry about the lights here, but you have to light it up. Um, strike a chord on the sustain still going still going still going so this is uh, Metropolitan Avenue uh, by Christy Mertz a wee bit of a, a lesser heard song I suppose uh, but Cracker I transposed it and put it on to uh, Ultimate Guitar which is a site that you can go on for all the chords and lyrics stuff and songs definitely worth looking at um, so have a look at it and this is it first days in the loft I thought I might live new faces and new streets no cash in the hand was making me think but now, what's coming next? That's not to say I wasn't welcomed I was welcomed, I was taken in 
I took the bed when I was haunted I was wretched, I was freezing Metropolitan Avenue Standing tall in the winter snow I'll be back with you before I go Now, isn't it funny how songs bring you back to a place in time, right? I've always loved it, right? Mostly, you know, it reminds you of the good times and it reminds you of the bad times. So, but the thing is that if you're, if you're listening to music a lot, it will remind you people, places, you know, you know this, right? I'm not telling you how to suck eggs, right? But what I thought was, if I tell you a couple of stories about what, when these songs remind me of, okay? So, uh, that song in particular, Metropolitan Avenue, um, took me back to whenever I was at university in Huddersfield. And, uh, yeah, some great times and some mental times. And sort of basically growing up, you know, and learning how to look after yourself. And uh, the pitfalls and the nightmares and all that kind of stuff. But, hey, I'm still here. So, uh, so whenever I was in Huddersfield Uni, uh, myself and Michael and my brother Declan, we all started a, a band, an Irish folk band uh, called the Sons of Ushna. And we were very successful. Uh, played a class for you I will, if I haven't mentioned this, I will show you the photograph. Um, but, uh, yeah, that song in particular, during my teacher training year, I had moved back into halls, and uh, you were getting up at like five o'clock in the morning to get organised to get three buses to get into uh, Halifax to the school, and uh, I used to carry this. It was a while ago. Okay, there's no MP3 players or anything like that, so I had my CD Walkman with. Uh, the Christy Burr box set, the full box set in my pocket. I was like six CDs in it, uh, in a cardboard case that I carried about with me. And uh, that was one of the songs that I would have listened to on it quite a bit. It it always reminded me of being away from home, basically. Um, but, and when you look back, that's exactly, you don't know, maybe you don't know at the time that it's happening. Uh, that these songs will lead you to remember that specific place, like literally being on a specific bus at six o'clock in the morning, getting up at five, getting a shower, getting my breakfast and out for six and running after the bus. Uh, I'll tell you, there was one morning, um, it was the last morning I was off my teacher training placement and I had decided that I was going to do leave everything to the last day. So there was going to be an assembly. There was going to be different lessons that needed uh, a piece of uh, art that I'd bought off an art student. Uh, I needed a rugby kit, I think it was, or a training kit uh, for something. So I had I had my bag, a portfolio, uh, my guitar, because we were doing a song during the assembly, uh, the piece of um, the piece of art and a sports kit. And, of course, I, dickheads running late. So I run down to get the bus. The guy saw me coming and I got onto the bus and got my sands mixed up. And I said, I'm hung like a donkey. Yes. The boss man went, good for you. And uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, everybody else on the bus that heard it was laughing. Scundered, pure scundered. I meant to say I'm near hung and I'm like a donkey here. So um, don't, don't do that. Don't get those sounds mixed up. But yeah, these things here, like uh, first days, and the law of the thought I might live, new faces, new streets, basically reminds you straight away of, of moving from here to, to over to England. Um, and I was welcomed, and uh, you got involved in things, and you, you made your friends and all that kind of stuff. And your nights out, and you go into uni to do your classes and stuff like that. Um, and it's strange. I, keep, I, I have a recurring dream of just walking around Huddersfield, but nobody else is there. Weird. Right, I'm like walking around the streets, 
and they're they're exactly the same. Like I can I can pretty much tell you where the sh- the different shops are and how I walked through the park in the morning from the house. Um, when we're in the the student houses, uh, walking down the street and all that kind of stuff. Like it's it's great. Um, and then you have the the songs whenever I was playing, in what did you call the bar? It'll come back to me. Um. I can hear our Kieran actually shouting the name of it at me now. There's a cool wee bar in Hollywood Field that we played in, uh, in the cellar. And there was three of us played in there. Me, Brian and Linda. And uh, then we got other people in. Uh, to do. It was all unplugged. Um, and we had different things, different people showing up different weeks. And it, it really did pick up pace and it was, it was great. Um, the name of it has absolutely left my brain, but doesn't really matter. I could tell you where it is, I could walk you to it now. So, um, we had those things and those songs just take you straight back. Now, I will, I'll keep going through a few songs and stuff uh, in the future and that section is going to be called Memories Are Made Of These. See what I did? See what I did? So, obviously, that that's just the song that I picked this morning on the hoof. Uh, I'll get some other songs that remind me of doing gigs in different places, the mayhem that's always at a gig, and uh, you know whether it's private party you're doing or just a session that you, you end up playing in, or somebody falling over the stage and trying to take a tooth out because people are dead on. So what you have got today is you've got a look at the Kevlar. Uh Hope you like it. If you if you have any other questions that you want to ask about it. There's kind of like, do you see the v side profile? It's wider here than here by about five mil. So it's all sloping. Um, it allows for better resonance coming out from here through the sound hole. Uh, what else? Yeah, that back bit is actually bowed as well. So that's actually cupped in underneath. Um, but there you go. Hey ho, if there's anything that you would like to know or who you need to get in touch with down at the Lagan Luther East School. Um, give me a shout um, and we'll sort you over that. Gigs this week. Uh, we are gigging a uh, little bit. It's going out Friday morning. So I am gigging tonight in the Thirsty Goat from 11 to 1. Saturday in the Thirsty... Right, I'll do all the Thirsty Goat gigs, right? Friday, 11 to 1. Out the back. Saturday. No. What am I on about? Thirsty Goat, inside, Friday night, 11 to 1. Outside in the beer garden on Saturday from 3 to half 5. Then inside from 11 to 1. Outside on Sunday from 3 to half 5. Bullshit. From 5 to half 7. And then I'm up in the Fiddler's Inn in Crumlin from 9 to half 11. So come along, have a sing song and get involved and have a better crack over the weekend. And really, all that's left to say for me and my guitar is good luck and we'll see you in the beano. All right. By the way, hope you like the wee video at the start. Nice one. I think it was. So, anyway, there you go.